movie, we see a priest named Jun Su performing an exorcism on a possessed girl named Jian. Jian starts vomiting blood and then asks him if could he just kill her, or he is afraid he won't go to heaven for killing. But Jun Su continues praying. She then starts laughing in a different voice and says this poor girl believes him for being a priest. Jun Su then puts a crucifix on her chest and applies something on her forehead, after which black smoke starts coming out of her mouth. But the demon calls Jian's mother in her voice, and as she opens the door, the demon wakes up, and her mom asks Jun Su what did he do to her daughter. Now during this, the demon frees himself, and Jun Su sees Jian sitting at the window. He tries to save her from falling, and then we see that the demon has possessed her mother as well, and says they existed before God was born. As God exists everywhere, they too exist everywhere, and that is the will of their God. He says he will come back to this world to tear his family's flesh into pieces and send them to hell, and then he bites on his hand, causing Jian to fall down and die. And we see the demon in the form of a raven hanging upside down on a tree branch. We then see Gangu with his family moving to a new house because of what his brother Jung Su did, and his elder daughter Haiyan Ju is not particularly happy about it. She walks towards their neighbors while talking on the phone, and we see that someone is keeping an eye on her. Meanwhile, their mother tells Seonwoo to don't even dream about meeting her uncle because she is sick of churches, gods, and everything else. She is getting her dad to return her uncle's items to him and asks her to put them in the basement. Now that night Myungju wakes up hearing some sounds and she wakes up Gangu too. When they check outside the window, they see a man doing something in the house in front of theirs. Gangu says he will go and tell him they are not able to sleep because of him, to which Myungju tells him not to make a scene on their first day here. The next morning, Wu Jong calls Jung Su and tells him that their new house is really big and it has a yard too. He asks him when will he come by, to which he says he is a bit busy but he does have to come by, but only then Wu Jong hears a scream and he says he has to go. Here Father Choi comes to Jung Su and asks him did he switch vocations. Jung Su asks him about his request to leave the priesthood, to which he says removing this robe is not so easy, so Daosis hasn't approved it. Father asks him if he wants to go on an overseas mission to forget the past and get some fresh air. Here they find the dead body of a cat hanging outside their house. Now when Haiyan Ju comes downstairs, she faints seeing the cat, and their mom asks Sun Wu to call the ambulance. Gang Gu reaches the hospital and asks Myung Ju what did the doctor say, to which she tells him he said it must be from stress over the move. Now when they return home, they see that Wu Jong chair has been broken by their neighbor's truck parked there. Gang Gu asks them to go in, and he will go to his neighbor and give him hell. Myung Ju asks him not to do so, but he does not listen to them and goes to talk to his neighbor. Now as soon as he enters his yard, he notices some strange things there, seeing whom he gets a little scared, and then he notices some faces on a wall. He asks if anyone is home and knocks on the door, but notices that the door is open. He enters the house and sees that there are many dead bodies of animals and crucifixes hanging upside down. Now seeing this, he gets very scared and starts going back, but only then his neighbor comes from behind. Gangu tells him they are his new neighbor and tries to talk to him about parking, but gets scared and walks away. Now the noises again disturb them at night but Myung Ju notices that Gangu is lost, and before he could tell her anything, Haiyan Ju comes there and complains about the sound. Then Wu Jong and Sun Wu also come there and Gangu decides to call the police, but their neighbor tells them that he is making fabrics. He apologizes to Gangu, but Gangu tells police that he hung a dead cat outside his window. However, the neighbor says he doesn't know what he is talking about. Gangu shows the photo of that cat to the officers, but they ask him if is there proof that he did it. To which Gangu asks them to take a look inside his home. Now when they enter his yard to check his house, Gangu notices that he has cleared everything from there and gets shocked to see that his home was completely normal. He asks him when did he clean up, and the officers seeing a fabric machine there asks him to work during the day. Gangu says he saw in the afternoon that dead chickens and animals were dripping blood. One of the officers asks him to stop all this and then they leave there. Now when they come out, Gangu asks everyone to keep their door locked or something bad will happen, and after they all leave there, we see many ravens on the roof of his house. After this, we see Jung Su when suddenly the window of his room opens due to a gust of wind. He closes the window and puts the crucifix back there, and when he starts to pick up the pages, blood drips on it. He sees a demon hanging on the ceiling above, who tells him that his rage and tears will build him up and his guilt will breathe life into his veins. He then starts laughing out loud and it starts raining blood in his room, and as he jumps on him, Jung Su wakes up from sleep and finds it was just a nightmare. On the other hand, someone pulls Haiyan Ju's blanket, and she thinks it's Wu Jong fooling around, but when she gets no reply, she tries to get up, and only then does her dad holding her hair makes her lie back on the bed. He then looks at her and says her little girl is all grown up, and Haiyan Ju gets terrified seeing him like this, after which he leaves there. 
The next morning, Sun Woo notices a crack in their family photo and then sees that her mom is chopping vegetables like crazy. She then tries to talk to Hai and Ju, but she asks her not to talk to her. Then Gang Gu also comes there and he seems completely normal, but Hai and Ju is very scared and then she leaves there. Now Myung Ju brings food and puts it on the table and they all notice that she is eating food in a very strange way. Wu Jong eats it and spits it out saying it's too salty, but Myung Ju picks it up and starts eating like an animal and says it's not salty at all. Wu Jong asks Gang Gu what's wrong with mom, and then she throws the plate from the table. She asks him how dare he complain when she said it's fine and then she starts abusing him. Now seeing this, Wu Jong gets terrified and starts crying, and when Gang Gu asks her what's with her, she leaves there. We then see Jung Su with Father Dean, and we learn that he has volunteered for an overseas mission. Father Dean gives him a necklace that belonged to Jian and tells him that her mother came and she wanted to forgive him. She also apologized for spreading rumors saying she should let it go and start anew. Jung Su looks at the bite mark on his hand and says how could he ever let it go, as she died because of him. Here Gang Gu comes back from the office and hears Myung Ju laughing out loud while watching TV. He talks to her and finds that she is completely normal, and then he asks her why did she scold Wu Jong during breakfast this morning. She asks him what does he mean. She went to meet Sejong. Meanwhile, Sun Wu is taking a shower when she hears some sounds and gets scared seeing Hai and Ju standing there. Hai and Ju asks her aren't she is sick and tired of her siblings, to which she asks what she mean, and she tells her to kill them. Sun Wu gets terrified seeing her like this, and then Hai and Ju smiles and leaves there. Sun Wu then goes to Hai and Ju room and asks her what was that just now, to which she says she was in her room the whole time. She then says she is glad she is here and pulls her inside. She asks her if could she sleep with her tonight and asks her did something happen to her too, like mom and dad. She then tells her about what dad did to her last night, but Sun Wu doesn't believe her. Hai and Ju asks her did she saw mom in the morning, and she thinks everyone is going crazy. Only then Gang Gu enters the room and asks her what does she mean. They both notice that something is wrong with him, and then he grabs a paper cutter from the table. He asks her what she is accusing him of, and before he could attack them, Sun Wu pushes him back, but they find him outside their room as well. He grabs Sun Wu with hair and throws her down the stairs, and when Hai and Ju goes to check on her, he starts moving toward her and she runs away. She hides in the kitchen, and Gang Gu comes there looking for her, and then he takes out a hammer from a toolbox. Now before he can reach Hai and Ju, he hears Sun Wu's voice which is looking for Hai and Ju, and just as he is about to attack Sun Wu, Hai and Ju asks him to stop and hits him with a pan. But there is no effect on him and he starts attacking her, only then they hear Gang Gu calling their names and ask them what is going on upstairs. He then comes upstairs, and both of them start getting scared of him, and he thinks they both were fighting. Just then Wu Jong comes out and they both ask him to go inside, but in the meantime, their mother picks up the hammer. She then starts attacking Gang Gu and he gets shocked to see this. She then tries to attack Sun Wu, but when Gang Gu tries to save her, she starts hitting him on his hand. Gang Gu tries to push her back, but she throws him away, and when he asks what's the matter with her, she leaves there walking on the broken pieces of glass, and enters a room. Only then she comes upstairs and asks them what's going on, and Gang Gu gets shocked to see this, and when he checks the room, he finds no one there. The next day, Sun Wu calls Jung Su and tells him that there is something weird happening at their house. She then passes the phone to her dad, who asks Jung Su to help them, but Jung Su tells him there is nothing he can do and he is leaving Korea tonight. Hearing this, Gang Gu disconnects the call and Myung Ju asks how Jung Su could do this to them. She says that all this is happening because of him, and because of him, they had to come to this house. Hearing this, Gang Gu gets angry and says that she is the one who wanted to move here, and both of them start arguing. Then Hai and Ju says she too doesn't want him to come here because what happened to that girl could happen again. After this, we see that Myung Ju and Hai and Ju are leaving the house, but then Jung Su comes there. They explain him everything and also tell him about his neighbor. Jung Su tells them it's better that they stay together tonight, and when he goes towards their neighbor's house, the wind starts blowing there. Jung Su prays while remembering God, after which the wind stops blowing. He then enters his house, which is now exactly the same as Gang Gu had seen. Then he hears some sound and opens a door, behind which a rotten corpse is lying which is being eaten by rats. Now here we come to know that the demon killed their neighbor, after which he took his form and started living there, so that he could finish Jung Su family. Now at night, they are all asleep when Wu Jong wakes up to pee and tries to wake up his sisters, but when they don't wake up, he goes to the bathroom alone, and demon takes his form and goes to the hall and tries to kill Jung Su, but he could not do so. The next morning, Jung Su tells them that last night he installed a CCTV camera in the house, and he came to know that there is something in this house which took the form of Wu Jong last night, but it could be anyone next. He think they need to perform an exorcism, and that is the only way. He asks them not to worry because he won't do it, he asks someone he trusts to do it. He then asks them why aren't there any crosses in here. 
to which Gang Gu says they haven't fully unpacked yet and they are in the basement. Haiyan Ju says she will get them. Jung Su then takes Gang Gu out with him and tells him that the demon has assumed Sun Wu's form. He added holy water to their water and she was the only one who didn't drink it earlier. They will wait until Father Baltazar arrives and he will have to keep an eye on her because, for some reason, Father Baltazar asked him to pick him up at the airport. Now when Jung Su reaches the airport, Father asks him why he is here, to which he says he only asked him to pick him up. Father says he didn't and Jung Su understands he has been tricked by the demon. Meanwhile, Haiyan Ju comes to the basement to collect the cross where she senses someone's presence. Then suddenly a force drags her inside the furnace and locks it, and kills her by burning her alive in it. Here Jung Su is on the way with father when many raven birds attacks his car, due to which his car meets with an accident and they fall into the ditch. Here Sun Wu says that she is going to help Haiyan Ju but Gang Gu tries to stop her and knocks her down. He then ties her to bed, and Myung Ju asks him what he is doing. To which he explains to her that according to Jung Su, she is not their daughter. Now after a while Myung Ju is going to check Haiyan Ju, but then Jung Su comes back home. He then goes to Sun Wu's room and tells Gang Gu that they should delay the exorcism. Gang Gu asks him what happened, to which he tells him that they met in an accident and only he managed to survive. Gang Gu asks him to perform the exorcism, but he says he can't as a person died because of him. However, Gang Gu begs him to help Sun Wu and save his family. Jung Su agrees for the exorcism and tells them that it will mimic Sun Wu and beg to let it go, but they don't have to believe it. He then begins the exorcism and places a cross on her and begins hitting her with sticks. He asks Gang Gu to hold her legs or they might not get her back. Sun Wu begs to let her go, but Jung Su continuously beats her and injures her badly. Meanwhile, we see that Jung Su is actually lying unconscious at the accident spot. Here Myung Ju takes pity on her daughter and asks Jung Su to stop and begs Gang Gu to stop all this. She then tries to untie her, but Gang Gu pushes her back. The demon then in Myung Ju's voice tells him that he is a worthless parent forcing him to think she is not his wife. He attacks her thinking she is trying to kill her daughter, but she hits him with a bottle to save herself, after which he throws her on a wall knocking her down. Only then he sees Jung Su laughing at him and realizes that he is actually the demon, and he asks Wu Jong to get away. He tries to attack him, but the demon throws him away. He then goes to him and was about to kill him, but real Jung Su reaches there and starts reading prayers, causing the demon to vanish from there. After this, they go to Wu Jong in the basement and Gang Gu explains to him that he is actually his uncle. Wu Jong points them to the furnace, and they get shocked to see Haiyan Ju's dead body there. Now Sun Wu also comes there and asks her dad why he did this to her. Gang Gu says it's all his fault, and as he was about to hug her, Jung Su uses a mirror to identify the demon and then begins reading prayers. The demon completely possesses her and tries to trick Jung Su, but he continues the exorcism and it seems as if it is not making any difference to him. He then screams and sets that mirror on fire and then it pushes him down and tries to kill him. But before it could kill him, Gang Gu pours holy water on it, due to which his body starts burning and Jung Su becomes free. He then makes a cross on her forehead and starts reading prayers by closing her eyes with his hand, but it manages to trick him again and throws him away. He then moves towards Gang Gu and knocks him down too, after which he grabs him by the throat and lifts him in the air, and taking advantage of this opportunity, Jung Su asks God to give him the power to lock this demon in his body. The demon turns towards him and inserts into his body. He takes out a cross from there and breaks it, and then he wakes Gang Gu up. He throws that cross to him and asks him to kill him, and this will end then. Gang Gu says he can't, but then the demon starts overpowering Jung Su. However, before it could control him, he stabs himself with that cross and finally manages to kill the demon and sacrifice himself to save his family. Now they all got out of this thing but they lost Haiyan Ju and Jung Su, and the movie ends here.